one of the Pharisees asked him to eat with him. So he went into the Pharisee's house and reclined at table. And behold, a woman of the city who was a sinner, when she learned he was reclining at table at the Pharisee's house, brought an alabaster flask of ointment. And standing behind him at his feet, weeping, she began to wet his feet with her tears and wipe them with the hairs on her head and kissed his feet and anointed them with the ointment. When the Pharisee who had invited him saw this, he said to himself, If this man were a prophet, he would know who and what sort of woman this is who is touching him, for she is a sinner. Simon, I have something to say to you. Say it, teacher. A certain moneylender had two debtors. One owed 500 denarii and the other 50. When they could not pay, he canceled the debt of both. Now, which of him will love him more? Uh, the one, I suppose, for whom he canceled the larger debt. You have judged rightly. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see this woman? I entered your house. You gave me no water for my feet, but she has wet my feet with her tears and wiped them with her hair. You gave me no kiss, but from the time I came in, she has not ceased to kiss my feet. You gave me no oil for my head, but she has anointed my feet with ointment. Therefore, I tell you, her sins, which are many, are forgiven. Forgiven? Forgiven. Forgiven. For she loved much, but he who is forgiven little loves little. Your sins are forgiven. Who is this who even forgives sins? Your faith has saved you. Go in peace. <laughs> 